I'm pumped about this one. This one is going to be 20 beginner level drum beats that just work. And I'm gonna show you they work because they're used in songs. So we're gonna pull them directly from songs. I love these types of lessons because they're really, really applicable. Um, and, and you can take them and immediately use them, especially if you've just started the, playing the drum set. All of a sudden you have 20 songs that you can play. That's a huge win. I love it when we can get big wins early on that motivate us to keep practicing and keep pushing forward. So this lesson is just for you if you're in that place. Now, this lesson also goes great with another lesson I have. I've linked it below in a pinned comment, as well as in the video description, and that is five drum fills that work, all right? They're gonna be easy drum fills that you can learn and you can start to stick them into any of these songs. They will work in those situations. So go watch that one as well. There's a ton of other um, uh, uh, beginner level type uh, content on my web, or excuse me, on the YouTube channel and on the website, uh, if you wanna check that out. Now, the second thing is the sheet music is available for this below in a pinned comment and in the video description. So be sure to check that out um, if you want to download that. All right, let's go with the first one. It's gonna be from Weezer, Beverly Hills. One of my favorite groups from way back in, when the first drum grooves I learned were from this band, the Blue Album. I set my drum kit up, I was all pumped about it, and then I sat down and I played through a bunch of, you know, like the sweater song, stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna play this. It's gonna be eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare drum, one and, and three and. Now, here's a catch. There's a slight accent on the upbeat of two and the upbeat of four that give this groove kind of a cool feel. So it's gonna go, Three and four and one and two. Three and four. One and two. Three and four and. Now let's put that up to tempo around 88 BPM. One, two, three, four. The next drum beat is from Tom Petty and it's from the song Free Fallen. Uh, it's gonna be right around the same BPM, but th three clicks slower, 85 BPM, eight notes on the hi-hat, and then we have two and four on the snare drum, so that stays the same. The kick drum is one and then the and of two. So one and two. And so let's put that all together. Three and four and one and two and three and two and three. All right, now let's pull this up to 85 BPM. The next one is from Lenny Kravitz from the song, Are You Gonna Go My Way? It's about 130 BPM, so a little bit quicker, but it's gonna be very similar to the Beverly Hills groove, except we're gonna have an open hi-hat, and the kick drum is gonna go one and two and three and four and. Snare drum on two and four, so nothing changes there. The next one is a song called Closer by the Chainsmokers. It's 
It's around 95 BPM. It's gonna be actually a two bar loop. So we gotta remember a little bit more this time. Eighth notes on the hi-hat in, in the first measure, uh, two and four on the snare drum throughout there. So you don't have to worry about. The first and second measure look kind of alike. There's just uh, two little variations. In the first measure, we open the hi-hat on one end and there's a kick drum with that. So it goes, Then we have two on the snare drum, the and of three on the kick drum. So the kick drum goes in the first measure, one and two and three and four and. Kick drum in the second measure, there's just one difference. It's on the and of four two. The second measure goes one and two and three and four and. Let's put both of those measures together. Three and four and. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. And three and four. One, two, three and four and one and two and three and four. One, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and The next one is by a band called Fleetwood Mac. I'm trying to put a mix of like the new and the old rock pop. I'm trying to put it all in there, all right? So this is by a band called Fleetwood Mac. I still love playing this song. And one of the reasons I love it is the simplicity of it because the song's all about the lyrics. Uh, it's all about that part of it. So in the story that it's telling. So um, let's take this. It's gonna be eighth notes here on the hi-hat, one and three on the kick drum, two and four on the snare drum. See, if you can play the other stuff, you can totally play this one. Three and four and one. Number six, it comes from Post Malone, it's from the song, Wow. It's around 100 BPM, and um, it's really an extension of the Free Fallen group, okay? So we play exactly what we played on Free Fallen, but we add the three, uh, we add the and on three and the downbeat of four in the kick drum. So the kick drum goes one and two and three and four. 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 All right, now let's take that and speed it up to 100 BPM where the song is. Number seven, we're going to country. We're taking it country, right? I'm, I'm from, come on, I'm, I live in Tennessee, I'm from Mississippi. We gotta take it country. It's gonna be Kerosene by Miranda Lambert. This is an incredibly simple and effective groove. So it's gonna be right hand, left hand, and kick drum all on quarter notes. And you may be like, Stephen, that's not very interesting. Our part as a drummer is to support the song, and this part drives the song exactly how it needs to be. Go, go check the song out, and you'll see how this drives it just how it needs to be. For number eight, we're going back to the 70s, Disco Inferno by a band called The Tramp.
This is gonna be your prototypical disco groove. So it's gonna be four on the floor, quarter notes here. The upbeats are gonna be on the hi-hat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... That's pretty fun, huh? It's really a danceable groove. Two and four on the snare drum. One and Get, at, get that up to 129 BPM, and that's where the song sits. For the ninth drum beat, we have the white stripe sliding in with hardest button to button. I love the simplicity of Meg White's drumming. I love that she's a song drummer, and you can tell within two notes if it's her playing. Uh, now, the cool thing about this song is, we're not gonna cover this, but the chorus groove, you've already learned it. It's actually the groove for Are You Gonna Go My Way. You just play it, I think, on a crash cymbal instead. So the verse groove, though, is really, really, really simple. Take Miranda Lambert kerosene and take away the, the snare drum. We're just gonna put it over here on the floor tom. So it's kick drum and floor tom on quarter notes. One. And you're like, that's so simple, that couldn't be a part. It is, and it works. Sometimes the simplest parts are the best parts. Let's kick some new wave with The Cure, Friday I'm In Love. This is really a variation on the Lenny Kravitz groove, Are You Gonna Go My Way? Uh, it's gonna be about 135 BPM, uh, two bar loop, and we're gonna have eighth notes here on the hi-hat, but the hi-hat's gonna be closed, all right? The, everything's gonna be the same, except in the second measure, we raise the hi-hat, and I'll show you that. The kick drum goes like this, eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare drum. We got that nailed down. Kick drum, one and two and three and four and, second measure, one and two and three and four and. So let's put that with the rest of it. Then we're gonna raise the hi-hat in the second measure on the and of four. So I'll do that real slow. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Three and four and one and two and three and four. Number 11 is by Pharrell, and it's the groove for happy. This is right about 160 BPM, so it's moving. It's a really simple groove, and it works so, so, so well. So it's gonna be quarter notes here on the hi-hat. One, two, open the hi-hat on three, close it on four. Two and four on the snare drum. And then on the kick drum, we have one, two, and three, and four, and 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 one. The next one is Clocks by, Clo by Coldplay. I 
I love Coldplay because uh, their drummer um, creates these parts that just really support what's going on, especially with the piano lines. Uh, I just love it. So it's, it's right at about 132 BPM. Eighth notes here on the ride cymbal. And what's going to happen is we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and with the kick drum. Going back to the 80s, this is, I believe it's the 80s, uh, with Robert Palmer, Addicted to Love, the groove from there, about 110 BPM. This one's a lot of fun. So we have one and three on the kick drum, pretty simple, two and four on the snare drum. The, the challenging part's the hi-hat, it's gonna go one and two and open on three, four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and Next we have Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. This is a variation on the kerosene groove. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, except we're gonna have eighth notes on the hi-hat instead of quarter notes. So it's gonna go one and And we're gonna get that up to about 140 BPM. Coming in at number 15, we're taking it back to some hip hop, some rap. We have Low by Flo Rida. And this is a variation on the free fallen groove. Again, it's a two bar loop. The first measure is actually free fallen. It's one and the and of two on the kick drum, two and four on the snare drum, eighth notes here. The second measure actually has the and of three on the kick drum too. So very slowly that two bar loop. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. We get that up to 127 BPM and you'll be at the tempo of the song. The next one is around 63 BPM. It's Perfect by Ed Sheeran. It's gonna, now we're in 12 8 time, okay? So it's gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you wanna count to 12, you can count to 6 twice if you would like to. Uh, so it's gonna go on 1, you have a kick drum. On 4, you have a snare drum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then on 6, you have a kick drum. 6. And then on 7, we have a kick drum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three.
The next one is by U2 Vertigo, about 140 BPM. It's gonna be a tom groove. So we have one and three on the kick drum in the first measure. It's gonna be a two bar loop. Two and four on the snare drum, eight notes on the floor tom. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. Second measure, a slight change on beat three. We have three and in the kick drum and then four and in the snare drum. So one and two and three and four and. All together. In the next groove, it's actually a variation on that last one, and this is by Muse. It's about 122 BPM. It's gonna be a little bit more complex, but built upon that last one. We have eighth notes on the hi-hat with our foot. First time we've done that. Then we have the floor tom eighth notes, and the kick drum is now four on the floor. Okay, so all of that together, it goes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. All right now we're going to take and, and play two, four and in the first measure. Then in the second measure it's two, three and four and. So real slow. Three and four and one and. Two. All right, we're almost there. This next groove, again, we're throwing back to the 80s here with some new wave with Blondie, Heart of Glass. And this is actually a variation. Um, you'll find a lot of disco type grooves in new wave music kind of coming out of that 70s era. And so this is a variation on that, uh, that groove from the Tramps from Disco Inferno. This is gonna be a variation on that. So four on the floor on the kick drum. One, two, three, four. Two and four on the snare drum. Now, what happens here is we have upbeats on the hi-hat, but we open it. It's two bar loop. In the first measure, we open the hi-hat on the and of two and the and of four. One and two. Second measure, we open it on the and of two, the and of three, and the and of four. One and two, and three, and four. And All together, three, four. That song sits at 115 BPM. One, two, three, four. Last but not least, we're throwing it back. I think it's the late 90s or early thousands. I forget what it is. Anyway, it's by the guitar great Santana. It's gonna be smooth. Uh, 
and um, this is a fun this is a fun groove to play. It's two bar loop. We're gonna have eighth notes here on the hi hat. The kick drum's gonna go two and four on the snare drum. Kick drum's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. This one's at 116 BPM. And there you have it. 20 drum beats that work. They're gonna be on the beginner level, so you now have 20, that's 2-0 oh songs that you can play as well. Put that with the lesson. I'm gonna pin it below uh, in a pinned comment as well as in a video in the video description. I'm gonna put the link there for five drum fills that work. You put these two lessons together, you got 20 songs in the bag. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one of these was your favorite as well. If you got any questions, put those down there. I love answering those, as many of them as I can get to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Share this with somebody you think it may help. And if you're needing help in your uh, drum game, your drumming development, jump over to the website, check out the Drum Better Daily program. It's helped thousands of drummers around the world, and I think it may be able to help you too. Uh, but whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next video.